Good day. In this video, we are going to do question 3A, part 2 of the 2023 NCA statistics paper titled Apply Probability Distribution in Solving Problem. This is a merit question and without further ado, let's try to solve this problem. Okay, so the milk production data is collected from a herd of 200 dairy cow, figure 3. So we talk about the herd now, okay? The first example was a New Zealand, South, uh, New Zealand cow. Now we're talking about the herd of 200 dairy cow. From this herd, 10% of the dairy cow have made milk production less than 3,600. So we're going to draw a normal distribution. So the mean is 5,250 from here, okay? And they say the standard, uh, we need to calculate the standard division based on the question later. And we know that less than 3,006 is 0 0.1 or 10%, okay? So suggest possible uh, suitable values of the parameter of the normal distribution model that could be used to model the milk production per season for this particular herd. Support your answer with statistical reasoning. Okay, so we are going to do inverse uh, normal because we need to calculate the standard deviation. In other words, we need to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. The mean is found phi to phi o and we are going to calculate the second parameter which is the standard deviation. To calculate standard deviation, we need to do the inverse poisson inverse normal and we need to standardize it first. So to standardize this graph, the mean, the standard division becomes 1 and the mean becomes 0. Then we need to calculate the z. Once we found the z, we're going to use this formula x minus mu minus sigma equal to z and solve for your sigma. So we're going to do that by standardize the data. So I'm going to put the uh, calculator here. Hopefully you can see. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm going to adjust the light so you can see. Okay. So we are going to do that. Again, we go to statistics. Okay. Statistics, okay, execute. Now again distribution. And again, I told you before, you go you this time we're going to do inverse normal. So we're going to click on F1 for normal and then F3 for inverse normal. Okay. And of course we need to standardize it first. To standardize it, data we need to go to variables so or F2. Now we can do it. Okay. So the data is on the left, okay. So we are working on this now, okay, to get the Z value. So to standardize it, so uh Sorry, is, uh, data is variable, it's on the left, we are all done. Area is 0 0.1, so we're going to keep flip, uh, key in 0 0.1, execute. Sigma is 1, because we are standardized it, 1, and then we new is 0, and then we just execute, and the answer is negative 1.281551.6. So that's where the answer, Z equals to negative, we're going to write it down, okay. Minus 1.281551.6. So we have found the z value is negative this number here. And what we're going to do, we're going to substitute this z into this equation. The equation is z equal to x minus nu over sigma for us to able to find the sigma in the non-standardized form. So z is minus one minus 1 1.281551.6. So that is replaced by that number. X is your number here, 3006 minus the mean is 5250 because now we are working on the non standardized and the sigma is what we're going to find. So we are going to solve this now, okay? So to do that, we just need to minus 3006 by 5250, it's going to be minus 1650. So this remains. So 1650 divided by sigma. If you do not know your algebra, you can sort places when it's at the bottom. Sigma goes up and this comes down. So sigma is going to 1650 divide by this number, negative 1.281551.6. Put in your calculator and the answer is 1,287.5 or round to the nearest kilogram is 1,288 kg. So that is the merit in this paper. And we are going to justify the excellence question in the next video. Hope you got it and I'll see you soon. Cheers.